first of all, thank you, Sheena, and thank you, Carolyn, for inviting me this afternoon and for arranging this time. And thank you all. I have found this to be a time of real blessing, a privilege. So thank you. These are times of distance when we cover our faces, when we cannot touch each other, and it's a really difficult time. Human beings are social creatures and we enjoy meeting. We enjoy chatting. We are made to laugh together and to weep together. This second lockdown feels like a blow, a physical blow, but it is the right thing to do. We all want to save lives and we want to save livelihoods. And we most of all want to protect the NHS and key workers. We stand together against this virus. And as always, it is the kindness of friends, of family, of strangers that gives us reason to hope. And how much do we know that we need hope? These are difficult days. And we acknowledge too, those who are locked into mental health concerns or locked into loneliness or locked into anxiety and poverty, addiction and war. They are all locked in as we are locked in by COVID-19. And they and we will all be traumatized to some extent. And those who suffer long COVID and those who have survived being ventilated, they are scarred and they will need support and professional help. And they join a long list they join those who are still traumatized after 7-7 or the Manchester Arena attack and not forgetting Grenfell Tower. They and we need release. We will need repair. The Samaritans continue in their vital role and local councils are trying their best to be facilitators of help. But we all have a role. We can all be willing to listen to those who need an ear. COVID-19 has had an impact on everyone and everything. And there is much that we cannot do. But as other speakers have said, we can reflect. We can use this time to deepen our relationships and our faith, our loving and our kindness to others and to ourselves. So may I finish with two bits of wisdom that helped me through. Some words from the Bible. They'll be familiar, I'm sure. Even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we need fear no evil, for you are with us. Your rod and your staff, they comfort us. And some more humdrum words in a way, but words that I love and I'm known to love. When you walk through a storm, hold your head up high and don't be afraid of the dark, for at the end of the storm is a golden sky and the sweet silver song of a lark. So walk on, walk on with hope in your heart and you'll never walk alone. You'll never walk alone, for together, we are better 
and together we will get through. So I shall light my candle now. <laughs>